you know, one of the first questions we get on family is, uh, and this is a tough one because I never know how to respond. Hey, my significant other isn't, isn't like bought in. I've been trying to like get them to understand that being a PJ or being SR or being TACP, like this is where I want to go, but they're not on board. How should I have that conversation with them? I'm always like, bro, I don't know. I, you know what I could tell you? I could tell you they have to be a hundred percent all in or your life is going to be absolute just hell. Like you got like, you guys are not going to be able to, to get through it in any real way, or it's going to cause you so much strife and trauma that, you know, it's, it's really going to affect your chances of making it. It's already statistically impossible. We talk about it all the time. You have a 90% failure rate for going through, you know, most of these career fields, right? It's going to be even harder if your spouse isn't bought in and if you guys don't attack it as a team. So the first question that we kind of get is, well, how do I convince my significant other that this thing is for us? And I ne I never know how to answer it. I always just them like, I don't know, be open and honest, I guess. That's well, there's, the, there's that's layers the, to, the it. Go to. And it. Yeah, yeah. it's like saying Met TC. I don't know. Be It's going to be really tough. You got to communicate. <laughs> like the, there, there's the married people that we get questions from. There's the people with that are like, you know, just in, you know, dating relationships. There's people asking about how to get their parents on board. You know, mm -hmm. so like there's there's different levels of family. Obviously, if you're just dating, and you don't have kids like just get rid of that person because they're garbage. So I'm not. I am actually on board with you. I'm not saying I wouldn't say that they're garbage, but like <laughs> that's because thing. you're a good like, human. Yeah, but at the same time, like it's hey, you're just dating. Like hey, yeah. this is something I wanted. Do, do not allow somebody who you are just dating to dictate the rest of your life of of something, whatever dream you have. And but peaches, I, we grew up together. We've been dating for a long time since high school. She only cheated on me three or four times. And now she doesn't want me to go Boy. pursue my goals. Like, Jesus. why can't we were at tech school together? We were basic <laughs> together and I swear it'll work. And I know in the comments, there are going to be people and said, Hey, I've been together. Hey, awesome. Congrats. Like stoked for you. But at the same time, you also have to acknowledge how rare that actually is. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is so rare that whether it's a, a you know high school sweetheart or whether it's a somebody you were in basic with or or tech school because the chances are that is not going to work yeah you're well, right so, to uh just to clean up one of the stats i threw out there so 35 to 50 percent of marriages in the united states currently end in divorce second marriages end at a higher rate around 60 percent the Air Force has the highest divorce rate in the United States military. I just found that out here. So, so no practice kidding. does make perfect. If you go yeah, through so, it once, the second time is easier. The second time is actually worse. So yeah, you don't I was know how statistics worse. Yeah. worse. Yeah. yeah. No, like it's easier to get a divorce. You're like, I don't know. Well, that's actually yeah, just a good go point. Right that, might, that might be how it is where you're just like second one. You're like, I've already been through this. I already know. Like, I already know how this is the going. First, where the first one is like, man, this can't is take 50% of nothing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I like it. And uh, for everybody out there, just a quick reminder, fiscally speaking, it's uh, it's cheaper to keep it than it is to start over. Oh, so boy. I will I will put that wow. out there. I will. I meant the relationship. I don't know why you're giving me such a like the face right there. Like they always say that therapy is cheaper than a divorce. So go go talk to somebody about it. How about that? Yeah. But like seriously, like the, for the people uh, that it is hard when they're like, hey, I'm married and my spouse you know, that is not on board because yeah. I can see it from both sides, right? Like I'm like, Hey, like you got this thing that maybe you're going to be super resentful if you don't even get the chance to do it. But like from the spouse's side, I could be like, yeah, I don't want my spouse to go off and do those things. Like that mm -hmm. sounds crazy and dangerous. I'm not going to see you for three years. Plus however long you're on team after that. And then, you know, you have to play like Simper Gumby. Like there's no, there's no standard day. There's no, you know, like everything is constantly changing and like, if they understand that they've done the research, it'd be like, it'd be really hard to, to get on board with that for, for personal reasons. Like, obviously you want to support your spouse and be like, Hey, if you have these, these dreams, do it. But like, if you have a job that's making more money than you're going to make as an airman basic entering the air force already, I'm assuming if you're, if you're married and stuff. And then, so like, there's just a lot of, a lot of logistical issues that you have to work through. And so I think that's why it's so hard to give like one piece of advice that would solve that problem other than you know, over communicate and be hyper honest with each other and just be like, Hey, like, no kidding. I'm going to resent you for the rest of my life. If you don't let me do this, maybe not in those terms, but like, I don't know how you explain that you have the itch, the drive, the, the, whatever the mission in your life to go do this. And like, if they're not on board, it's, I, I don't know how you talk them into that. 
Yeah, and that's you know, it, I've I've actually had um, a couple of people that listen to us like ask if their if their spouse can can call if like if I can no can talk to them on the phone. So I think I've done that four or five times now, and they just yeah, I, it's weird. Um, <laughs> I'm like, man, you and I have very different interactions on the social media. I'm not getting a whole lot of those requests. I, I already, I already know you and I have very different interactions. <laughs> social media is different for peaches, man. Nobody's like, like, hey, Aaron, I'm like, hey, what's, what's going on? What's hey, happening, can everybody? I, can I get some mentorship? Is it, <laughs> can I get a phone call? <laughs> Aaron's all like, I'm surprised you're still alive because yeah. no one's yeah. off to you yet. Yeah, really, it's like I woke up this morning sad to see that you hadn't killed yourself. But anyway, maybe my day will get better. Have a good yeah. day, Aaron. <laughs> oh, you're still breathing, huh? Oh, you're still breathing. Boy, that sucks. That's anyway, sad. thanks for the podcast, <laughs> dickhead. <laughs> but I mean, it, it, what I really should do is is keep in mind or write down all those questions so that we can address them during you know things like these. But. 